Hello guys. So today we're going to be going over a tutorial on farming simulator for the Nintendo Switch. So this will be your first title screen you come to. What you want to do is start up your career. Select a new game. I'd advise starting out on easy. I'd just do Gold Crest validly, but you can do this other one. Switch. This is your character creation screen. There's not a whole lot of selections. You can uh, pick what kind of shirt they have, male, female. You don't really see your character very much, so there's not, I wouldn't spend a whole lot of time here. Now your game's gonna load up. If you have your game on the internal hard drive compared to a micro SD, it's gonna load a little faster. Uh, I haven't noticed a large difference in the load time zone and you don't it doesn't take very much loading after your initial load so not too important get up I'm gonna walk through the guided tour with y'all real quick All right it just kind of teaches you how to move around all that good stuff how to pull up your map so on and so forth Right trigger is to sprint. Just tells you you can go get in your vehicle. Guys get in the vehicle. Okay, now you're going to need to attach your header to your harvester so we can harvest this field. B attaches. Go hit the left bumper, we'll expand your menu in the top left. Combine unfolded. Y is going to turn it on. Header should lower. Now you can hit the tr right trigger, left trigger, control, forward, backwards. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you, we can see a little better. Okay, right trigger, get started. Now we're harvesting. So we have other things to do, so we'll go ahead and hire a worker. When you're in your base menu, you just hit A and task that can be outsourced to a worker. We'll go ahead and hire them. These do got these guys do cost some money. So just be cognizant of that. Using the right and left bumper, you can switch to different tools. So we'll go ahead and attach the cultivator to this. Open the bubble here to start this part of the tour. to attach this tool as well. Once you get the tool attached to the tractor, you can switch back and forth and you don't need to reattach the tool unless you want to change equipment. So now we're going to go to the part where we decide what we're going to plant. It doesn't really tell you a whole lot on this. So what I've been doing where I kind of move and wiggle, I'm just getting into that question mark. That'll give you more information. It'll start the next part of the guided tour. So the next part I'm gonna go over is selecting what crop you wanna go. What you 
want to grow. You hit the plus sign and you'll pull up your kind of menu. Um, this just has all the general information about your current status. This is a map of your fields. It tells you what's planted where. If you use the D-pad, you'll select through the different menus so we can see what our stages of growth are, what types of crops we have planted. I typically advise to check the prices and you can see this is all prices per uh, thousand liters. So you can see soybeans is doing pretty good right now. You'll all, you can go and select and see all the different things they have with the D-pad. I would advise um, checking your equipment to see what crops you can grow and harvest. So you can do the left bumper here and then select your different types of seeds. So we can do soybeans, that's a good one to start out with. Come over here, get this guy lined up. Alright, so then we'll lower an on the planter, lower the planter. As you can see, it's not planting. Go ahead and hire a worker to do this and proceed. So this is a trailer. You can use a tractor to pull this trailer or you can use the pickup truck. Um, we'll just do the tractor for now. So this next part can be a little challenging, I'm not very good at it, but you can drive along the harvester with your trailer and collect the grain if like the harvester gets I'll just kind of drive along them and wait till they get done. That's all we got. So what I would advise is check. You start out with a bunch of different types of grain in your silo. So I would advise checking to see what the prices are and then um, optimizing your trips. You don't want to waste a bunch of time just running back and forth. Okay, so then we'll check the prices. I already got half a thing of wheat, so we'll just go ahead and sell that. Uh, oh no, the prices aren't good. So we can look at the prices here and see, okay, uh, which one we're gonna get the most money for. Like I said, when you start out, it's typically going to be soybeans. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and dump off the wheat and then fill up the soybeans and go sell that. So this is the spot where you can deposit your grain. Just going to hit the right bumper and then X and it'll unload what's in your trailer into your personal side. Hit the left stick, start filling. You can choose what you want. We decided on soybeans. Start fill you up. So for the purposes of the tutorial, we're just going to go drop it off at the bakery. Typically you can go in here and then figure out which one you're going to get the most money for. So like right now it'd be the 
Maplefield Mill, so you can hit that. This one I think you can only access from a train, but it wants us to go to the bakery, so that's what we'll do. One other thing that is a nice feature of this game is you have a cruise control. So you hit both bumpers and then hit A, and it'll do your cruise control. From there, you can use your left stick up and down to change your speed. If you're looking more right, you can see the speed changing. Or green number. Then if you want to deactivate your cruise control, you just hit the left or right bumper, or you can trigger, or you can hit the bumpers. So this is the bakery coming here. In the Dumping. If you look in the upper right hand corner, you can now see we're getting paid for our soybeans. So now we're going to go and look at the shop. While I'm at the shop, I'm going to go ahead and buy, sell this trailer and buy a larger trailer. That's one of the first steps we're about advice making. It can save you some tricks. I would uh, just kind of be aware, some of these objects in here you can kind of run over, or through, like you can run over people, but the curbs, you can kind of get caught with some equipment, other vehicles, light poles, that kind of stuff, so just be cautious of that. And you can take this guy over here, drop it in this little box here. I'm going to sell the old trailer. We'll go get him out of the box. I'm just gonna sell the trailer. You can also do it from your menu, but you will lose some money. You won't get as much money if you just sell the vehicles directly from your garage menu. The way you get to that is by hitting the minus sign and then you hit X, and then from here you can sell your stuff too. Like I said, you just won't get as much money. You can also purchase stuff from that menu, which is what we're about to do. Here. Just tells you how to get into the store. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go buy a tipper. This is the one we started out with. I'm not a huge fan of it. You'll want to also make sure you're keeping an eye on what you're compatible with. So some of these you need a semi-trailer to pull or a dolly, like this one. And some of them you can just pull with bumper pull. I typically would say go ahead and get this guy to start with. 
we have enough money? Yeah. So he's got 31,000 liters. That's a pretty good capacity to get you started. Now we just pick them up from the store here. This is where all your new equipment can spawn. Okay. So guys, that pretty much wraps up this basic tutorial video. I'm gonna make a few more videos. If you guys have any questions, definitely comment and uh, subscribe if you wanna see more content.